<laughs> well, 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 well. Hey, everybody. It's Brad. And Krista. For the Big Family Homestead. We, uh, we've been having some technical difficulties today. A little bit. A few. A few. Boy, oh boy. It's not, it's not often that we have weird tech issues, but when you do, it seems like they all happen all at once. Oh, yeah. And definitely caught right in the middle of eating. I, I yep, you guys caught me. I, uh, Caleb, yeah, that's kind of in the way. Caleb uh, had made some homemade brownies from one of our cookbooks and caught gotcha. you. Hmm, those look tasty, so gotcha. I might have a bite. He's and like, I just oh, said, hey, hey there's this something is done. wrong. There's something wrong with the thing. It stopped. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, there you are, says Danny Thrive. <sighs> Sorry, yes. folks. Sorry. So beard bomb, Catherine. Oh, that's very awesome of you. The beard bomb for the hubs. Awesome. Excited for him to try it. Pretty nice. Yes. I gotta it's say. Very nice. Very, very nice. nice. <laughs> so we decided to go light today. Yes. Go light. It's been a long week. Long, long week. We've got a lot to share in video. Um, but I, we can't really do all that and then stay no. on topic. Mm -mm. Tomorrow there should be a recap video. We got the barn done. Mm -hmm. Well, at least not all of it, but most of it. I, there's only one small project left to do. So. Yeah. So today you're going to be making granola bars, but we've come up with mm -hmm. some new and exciting recipes. Mm -hmm. One just hatched out of my brain today. Your brain hole. My brain hole. <laughs> yeah. Gonk. Yeah. It's kind of no. leaked out of there. <laughs> no, I had this idea. I was like, have you ever had a banana nut granola bar? Nope. And I thought, I know exactly how to make that happen. Oh, they're over here. They're over there. Mm -hmm. Use freeze-dried bananas. Mm -hmm. Now, you could use dehydrated bananas, but it might chip your tooth or get all super chewy. Yeah, dehydrated bananas are pretty hard um but these are, are not, not. They're crisp, They're They're crisp. And yes delicious. and so we chopped them up into little itty bitty pieces yeah like this here let me show you the oh close cam hold on like yeah these. that's bananas yeah that's all bananas and then we have another A recipe recipe apple, recipe. apple pie and those are bars. apples and these are just granny smith apples that are freeze-dried yep now the cool thing about anything mm -hmm. granola bar ish if you've got nut issues don't put nuts in there no if you've got gluten issues don't put don't any put gluten -y gluten. things in there nope put what you like in there mm -hmm. and and that's the cool thing about granola bars but here is what we've come up with is a good base recipe mm -hmm. and then you can use whatever the heck you want yep Yep. So, so we're going to start with our base of coconut oil, brown sugar, honey, and a new, uh, well, it's, I wouldn't say new, maybe it is new, it's new to us, um, but it is, which we were trying to find an, a sweetener for, for Brad, because he is trying to cut out most sugars. Um, kind of cut some things down. Right, so we, and he really likes stevia, so this is a stevia um sweetener and it's organic zero calories and it is zero calories zero carbs all of that and it is uh organic ethyritol organic stevia leaf extract mm -hmm. uh and that's it and what's so, cool about this is that if you use this in conjunction with some other sugar mm -hmm. then you don't have that weird stevia taste right and it is a very fine um grain so it's 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 finer than white sugar, but not as fine as powdered sugar. Yeah. So, and it dissolves really, really easily. So we're gonna use some of that. Not a lot because I think you use half. You so do. if you're using one cup of sugar, mm -hmm. you would only use half a cup of would this. Would you hand me that? Cause I want to talk about that first. This? No, one more over. This. This happens to be, um, well, the person that actually extracted this from their mm -hmm. beehives is in the chat right now. Yep. 
Dan the Bee Man. He extracted this honey, mm -hmm. and we just got it from him recently. Yep. And this honey is going to be going into these granola bars as yep. well. Yep. Very so you balance that sweetness out with this, mm -hmm. and you can use a lot less than you normally would. Right. I, I cut the sugars in half on this recipe. Um, the recipe originally called for one cup of brown sugar and three quarters cup of honey. I actually cut the brown sugar in half and the honey we're going down. We cut it into thirds. We cut, we're going down to one quarter of a cup of honey. Yeah. So. Yep. And so Dan, the bee man, he's the one that uh, is providing the honey for today. We, we got yep. that from him the other day. Yep. So, so um, let's get cracking. Um, no, we're not. We're not Latter-day Saints, um, the daily preppers asking. And oh, you know no. what? And we have nothing against Latter-day no. Saints. As a matter of fact, we've got friends that are. We just, we're, we're not. No, so. no, we're not. We just, we really like the Thrive Life ingredients uh, because they're single ingredients. The bananas oh, are just bananas. Yeah. And the oranges, or not the oranges, sorry. The apples are just apples and the oats are yeah. just oats. And that's why I like that because we're kind of, we feel like we're kind of like mad scientists where we can create our own recipes whenever we want. And yeah. so we do. Well, and to obviously, if you didn't know, we sell Thrive Life mm -hmm. and we love it. Yes. I mean, and even if we didn't sell it, we would still use it because yeah. it's frankly the best. Right. It is the quality of all of the ingredients is a far cry above yeah. any others that we have found. So let so. me get to the recipe screen. And yeah. the, what's neat about this is now you just add whatever you want. Here's right. the base recipe. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to make two different kinds today? I'm make two different kinds. So I'm going to start with the um, uh, banana nut. And I have three quarters of a cup of coconut oil that I had already previously melted. I've got two because I'm going to make two batches. So I'm going to start with the coconut oil. Daily prepper. You've never tried Thrive. Oh. Oh my gosh. My friend. You're missing out, pal. Let me tell you. Best sorry. ever, man. Yeah. Let, let, here, this is true. Okay. I was, I'm sorry to interrupt you, no, no, mom, go ahead. but you know. Go ahead. This is true. The Harvest Right freeze dryer people reached out to us mm -hmm. and said, hey, would you be interested in becoming like a sponsor relationship? And we did the math on it. We've talked to friends. We've we did all of the due diligence, and when you consider the, um, they, they make a great product. Don't yeah. don't get me wrong. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. But for us, it made far more sense just to stick with Thrive. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And and I've got nothing against Harvest Right. It's there's there's a lot of things that are great about it, but for us, this is far better. Mm -hmm. So, right. but anyway, sorry, I got. No, no. Distracted. Well, and where we live in Wisconsin, we can't grow a lot of the stuff that we like to eat. Pineapple. Bananas. Bananas. I mean, those are yeah. things that, you know, we need to have brought in. And so having freeze-dried bananas is is it's a huge. Beautiful, it's awesome. Well, and here, you go and so you start doing your thing, and I'm going to okay. go get some of the full ones so that they can see them. Where okay. Are they, oh, where'd you put them? They're right here. Uh -huh. So I'll I can just here. grab them. No, you get it. Okay. Go ahead. So, um... I don't know you guys, well, I don't know. You guys cook, and getting honey out of a small measuring cup is kind of a pain in the rear. So I am going to take um, a little bit of this coconut oil and line the inside Smart. of this uh, measuring cup so that I can get the right amount of honey. Yeah, I'm I thought you were I'm, doing like I do and just wiping it on your no, pants. No, I'm wiping it on a towel. <laughs> wiping it on a towel, and then I will pour the honey Oh, this this jar's really full. Why did you fill them up? No, I'm kidding. That's no, not you me. Make them as full as you want. Dan. That's right. That's right. Of course, he yeah he sells by the pound, so I guess that doesn't really matter. No. <laughs> um, okay. Well, uh, daily prepper saying if you've never tried it, what would you recommend first? Well, what do you like? Mm, yeah. You know uh, these bananas. Like, check this out. Shh. Listen to this here, one quick. That's because they're freeze dried. Mm -hmm. And listen, I'm going to try to hold it up to the next to my microphone so you can hear it. Ready? They're freeze-dried. Mm -hmm. They're really, really, Full-size really good. pieces of bananas. Mm -hmm. And you could rehydrate them. You could just, whoop, how's I dump them onto the computer? No, please don't do you that. You could rehydrate them, and then they'd be exactly like bananas. Mm -hmm. Or, in our case, you can keep them nice and crunchy and use them in different ways that you never thought of using them. Right. Mm. It's good. Sorry, I licked my finger. Not 
That is some That's delicious, bad delicious no, bad beast no, no. bit. Oh man. That is that is one of my oh my weaknesses is honey. I growing up couldn't stand honey because my grandparents always had the the nasty honey that you get on the from the store, which those is not stuff really, in the bear, which yeah. of course back when I was a kid it probably was actually honey, but I didn't like it because it was pasteurized and it was bleh. so anyway. Yeah. All right, so I've got the coconut oil, the honey. I'm going to put my brown sugar in here. And then um, a quarter cup of this uh, pure is what's called is P-Y-U-R-E. And it's stevia and some other... Ethyritol, yeah. and that's it. So trying to find a stevia that is not that doesn't have maltodextrin in it was really hard because that's not good for you. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and put this in here. And it's granulated like a sugar, so I, I, I mean, it's it's really good. And the kids really like it. Brad likes it. I do. I have it in my coffee. Yep. And that's a good thing because most days I honestly have about a, an entire pot of coffee. Mm -hmm. Like today, I didn't finish it. No. I didn't finish it, but I started out with a full pot of coffee. And so for me, yeah. You know what? The, the uh, stevia... This does need to get heated because of the brown sugar. The brown sugar needs to dissolve, otherwise it's gonna be crunchy. Yucky. Exactly. We were figuring out how we were yep. gonna do this live. And right. uh, so we gotta heat it up. Yep, so I'm gonna kinda not make so much noise over here. Does it taste like banana chips? Asks Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin. No. no, because the most people have only had the banana chips that are dehydrated. Right. And they're those ones like want to break your teeth and stuff. And this they also, is, they, sorry, they also have uh, they're coated in sugar. The, those these those just taste chips. like straight up bananas. Mm -hmm. Like there's nothing to it. Yeah. Lola Granola, there she is. This is her namesake. <laughs> this is her namesake. Yeah. Have you ever had banana nut granola bars? Granola. Mm -hmm. Y'all right, get those hands, thumbs honey. up. Thanks, Della. Boots and Bounty, that's a fun name. Boots and Bounty Homestead. Hey, y'all. Hey, there's Grandma So Happy. Well, of course, John's here. He's uh, from Humbird, Wisconsin. Wow. Well, I don't even know where that's at. Never even heard of that place. First Peter 2.10. All right. Happy to join live. That's cool. Help very my daughter cool. search for simple bread baking. That's very cool. Very cool. Well, First Peter 2.10, if you're ever interested in a Bible devotion, mm -hmm. uh, I do one Monday through Friday, uh, 8.30 Central in the morning. Yep. Right now we're in James, which is why my voice is probably shot, because I get excited about Scripture. Get, get excited. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is going to take a few minutes to melt. Well, then you'll have to, um, I can stir that if you want to, do you want to do the oh, dry I can, ingredients? Oh, yeah, I can put the dry ingredients together. I am capable. Billy Bird, me, 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 I'm here. <laughs> okay, so now we need, um, this bag's going to make uh, it's gonna some, make some noise. Move it. Yeah, um, so we've got some uh, crisp rice, not rice krispies. Because that would be a name brand. I don't buy name brand stuff. <laughs> Banana. So we need three <laughs> cups of this. Would old-fashioned oats work, you think? Sure. I just like the quick oats because they're smaller. And That's these awful. ones, yeah, these ones are nice and small, and they, they're, they're crispy-ish yeah. because they're freeze-dried. But you could use store-bought. It would be fine. Yeah. By the way, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. These are aren't freeze-dried. Those ones are not? No. Okay, just quick oats. Yeah, just quick oats. But you oats. can, any any time that you see us using the Thrive Life ingredients and mm -hmm. you are intrigued and you say, boy, I'd like to try that recipe, yeah. but I don't have any of that. Well, if you get some, it helps us out, which mm -hmm. is great. But if you don't, you can still use regular old store-bought mm -hmm. ingredients. Three. I'm Isabel Four. Isabel. Why don't you like name brand... It's not that we don't like oh. name brands. It's just they're more money. Yeah. We have always bought um, store brand items because it saves our family tons of money. 
And we got seven kids. Yeah, and they're darn near the same thing. Now, there are a couple of things that we have to buy name brand, like Hellman's Mayonnaise. And I know there's loads of people that are Dukes. Uh, Dukes fans. We like ham. We've tried, we've tried Dukes. We like Hellman's. So it's Hi, Donna. just, Donna that's the way it is. Donna is very happy to see us online, she says. Oh, very cool. Um, very kind. So it's honestly, it's just a money saver. And yeah. we don't do coupons because it takes way too much of my time clipping coupons. And sometimes it's still cheaper to buy the store brand item. Yeah, so. and frankly, no, it's not ready yet. I am what? capable. I know mother. you're not. I know you are. Mother. Why is it taking Mother. So long? It's like in uh, that uh, little house on the prairie. Who's the little, that Nelly? snotty girl? Nelly. The one that was always bad. Nelly she was or so Nancy. Bad. Awful kids. Terrible mother. kids. Mother. Then she'd run oh. like that. Just terrible kids. The kids, actually, our kids love Little House on the Prairie, and they make fun of them all the time. Boots so. and Bounty says, amen, sister. <laughs> yeah, you know, I tried to do couponing. I really, I really did. I sat down. I was going to do couponing. It, it was a huge waste of my time. I mean, seven kids. I'm homeschooling. We're trying to do a farm. I don't have time for that. I really don't. I would just rather buy store-bought things or store brand items or make it myself. So First Peter 2.10 is in Nigeria. That's oh, cool. Wow. Hey, what time is it in Nigeria? I wonder. Is it I guess they would have to be almost I get the opposite side of the nine, globe right now. Yeah, maybe nine o'clock. I don't know. Boots don't and Bounty know. says me too. Spend more money trying to save with yeah. coupons. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey Donna. We're going to try to stay on topic, so if, you're, if your question is on topic, that'd be great, and we'd be happy, but, um, uh, yeah, oh no, yeah. Yeah, I was right, it's 9 o'clock. Good guess. Good guess, because I was trying to think, okay, where is it at globally, and be about it's, the exact it's, about, it's about where um, Germany would be, so yeah, it's... Um, yeah, email Donna. All right. Yeah, email info. It's in the it's in the uh, video description. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put our bananas. I have two cups of uh, chopped up freeze dried bananas, and I'll just go ahead and put those in here. And the powder is Delightful. okay. You don't want to get you rid don't, of it. You don't. It does. No, that that is really okay. And then I think probably a cup of nuts of pecans. And this part is add whatever you want. Yeah. Oh, we couldn't forget you, Donna. No. Nah. We couldn't forget you. All right, this is gold. We're starting okay. to bubble. So one cup of nuts. I'm turning it off. That's fine. Mrs. O is in South Africa oh, in the house. My goodness. 10.04. Oh, I'd be turning into a pumpkin right about now. The Daily Prepper is asking, is there anything you shouldn't put in granola bars? We were joking on the way Coffee? over here, and I thought... I thought, why not just add onions? No, oh, yuck. Well, because you could, with the Thrive Life stuff, you could add anything you want in there. And I joked about saying, let's have asparagus granola bars because yeah. it's crunchy. No way. It's crunchy. No way. Okay, I'm going to drizzle this on here. Well, maybe. <laughs> so much for drizzling. Yeah. But, um, you know, is there anything you shouldn't put in the granola bars? Anything you don't like? Anything you don't like, exactly. Um, and, and keep in mind that there's two ways to do this. I mean, these are not going to be shelf stable forever. Mm -mm. Not no. This won't even could, last a week. No, but you could put them in um, in the fridge, and then mm -hmm. depending on the ingredients you use, mm -hmm. just use common sense. Right, right. Mega Fred Zeppelin. You know, we were thinking, okay, cherries would be really good in this. I mean, you could put raisins in this, um, which would be really good. <laughs> so I'm just trying to mix this up to incorporate all of the honey and the brown sugar and the coconut oil. That's funny. What? Um, Hawkins Hills says, don't put coconut in them. It's from Satan. <laughs> See, what's funny is I like the flavor of coconut. I don't care for the texture too much. Our daughter, Hope, loves coconut. So we kind of let her put coconut in yeah. things that she makes. Vern is, Vern McDonald, hey Vern. 
um, is asking, can you use regular oil? You can. Yes. She just prefers the coconut oil for some, I don't even know. It's healthier. It's what, that's what she tells herself. You're such a goof. It is. It's true. All right, so. It's. You need more goop. Kind of hot. <laughs> you need more goop. Nope, this is good. You think you're going to be all right? Now, you could take this and you could toast it. Which and you would make an make awesome cereal. Awesome cereal with this, but we're going to make it into granola bars. And I'll tell you what I've been having recently for breakfasts, which has been really nice, is unfortunately store-brought granola like this, but um, Krista makes yogurt from scratch, mm -hmm. and holy mackerel, it, not only is it just really just super tasty, I'll put a little vanilla in it, and then I'll put some honey in it and some stuff like that. But it's been great for my digestive tract. Mm -hmm. yep. Let's just say it's miraculous, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what? Everybody's you, been there. You never know where you're going to go with that. Honey. Yeah, everybody's been there. <laughs> you sure that's goopy enough? Yes, honey. It's goopy enough. Oh, it's going to stick together? Yes. I look. believe you. I believe you. All right. I'm gonna I have a, um, a cookie sheet here with some wax paper on it. Oop. As I bang things around. Yeah. And I'm just going to carefully pour this on here as to not dump it on the floor. I'm going to carelessly pour it on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just start flinging stuff. Yep. Okay, guys. Top 10 uh, ingredients for worst granola bar ever. What would you say? And it has to be edible. It actually has to be food. So what would you... Um, what would you suggest would be the most horrible? I would start out by saying um, pickles and liver. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Kale. Ranch dressing. Kale. Oh, ranch dressing would be bad. <laughs> it would. <laughs> Jalapenos. Oh, churro squares, Vern. Yes. Let me tell you, spinach. Yeah. Oh, yuck. Yeah, Let me tell you what, kale, guys. Gross. Let me tell you what. Um, we don't eat out often for many, 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 many reasons. Yeah. But we went to Denny's oh, years ago. Years ago. And they had churro pancakes. No, that was pancakes. IHOP. Was it, it, it was IHOP. IHOP, yeah. They had churro pancakes. And let me tell you what. It was not a breakfast item at all. It was no. just straight up a pile of sugar on your plate. But on it was pancakes. the most delightful thing. Mm -hmm. It was so un unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, you know how I thought I was going to use the uh, rolling pin? I'm not. I'm going to put a, a piece of um, part uh, wax paper on top of here. And Thousand I'm, Island. <laughs> what? I'm going to use the other cookie sheet. Oh, boy. To smash this down. See? Look. Here, I could sit on it. We want to eat these later, hon. No, I'll put something on <laughs> it. It might end up on the floor. Where's thought. Brutus? We'll have Brutus stand Brutus on will it. eat it. Ooh, Kelly's right. Hot dogs. Oh, gross. Hot dogs. Just the water. Yuck. Just to flavor it. Yeah. Let me see, babe. Can I push on it? No. Why can't I push on it? Because you're too strong. But you want them squishy. Yeah, I want them. No, I want them to be You know what's going to be awesome is that since this is live, they're going to come apart. <laughs> <laughs> they have to cool. We're not going to be able to, to eat That's them right funny. now. We have to let them cool. So this is, okay, I'll show you what it looks like. You're going to, you want the close cam? It, Your close way, it doesn't cam. matter. Oop, there you go. Okay. So you can see the pieces of nuts, the bananas. Yeah. All in there. So this is going to, I'm going to put the part, the wax paper back on top of this and this is going to go in the refrigerator. So that's that's what it is, and once it's cool, then you can cut it and wrap them in in uh, wax paper. I don't know if I would recommend plastic. Yeah. Um, just because it'll be too sticky, but I don't know. It's really kind of up to you. Okay, one one last time. The email is info dot bigfamilyhomestead at gmail dot com. And yeah, so, but now the trick with this, like you're saying, is get them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Get them in the fridge before you cut them. Yep. And then we've got a little trick that, that oh yeah, it's Brad trick. Brad trick? It's a Brad trick, uh, how to cut them. Oh, right. 
Here it is, folks. Let me show you. This is the trick. Right here. You combine yeah. this and this. See, this I think would work better. Than I've the, done them both yeah. ways. Yeah. This is great because you can roll them real nice, and this helps you get the edges. Mm -hmm. Clink. Mm -hmm. And this works so really nice. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, recipe number two. Recipe number two. Okay. These are going to be the apple, apple cinnamon, pie. apple pie. Apple yep. pie. All right, so we need our half a cup of brown sugar. Danny Thrive, it is, it's chewy granola, but if you wanted it to be crispy, you could bake it. You could bake it. And all you would have to do is on a low temperature, mm -hmm. probably like 200 degrees, and then right. you just check it. Just check it, check it, check it. Yep. Hawkins Hill says, oh, I'm putting white chocolate chips in mine. Oh, yeah, you totally could. Well, when we were trying to decide what ingredients to put in, let's just say this may or may not have ended up on the counter. Yeah, it did. I wanted to make chocolate peanut butter ones. Stop, that makes too much noise. Jeez. Holy. Jeez. Okay, so where are we going, babe? We, we need to heat this. Oh. Put your hands. Okay, so I'm going to stir again. Sure. My, I'm the stir man. Right. Yeah. Okay, I got this part. Got it, got it, got it. And so now what are you measuring at? You got to tell this them. This is the, the pure, the, the sugar substitute. Um, it's super, super fine, but it's granulated. I mean, I don't know if you can see that. Where a lot of the, um, the other stevia... Uh, Powders are, mm -hmm. they're like, they're really poofy, almost styrofoamy. It's really they're strange. They're flaky too. Mm -hmm. Where this is not. It's like, right. it's like sugar, but just super fine. Yeah. Stephanie's asking, are these recipes in your cookbooks? Yes. It's in the first cookbook. That's a quarter of a cup. How would she know? I don't. Yeah. So it doesn't it really going. matter, keep does it? Keep it going. It's in the first cookbook? It's in the first cookbook, Our Family Favorites. And it's a little different in the cookbook than we're doing today because we kind of are reducing the amount of sugar. We changed it with this. And adding a little bit of the stevia sweetener. Yep. So let's see. Horseradish. I can't stand having things on my hands. There you go. Horseradish. Um, Horseradish uh, granola bar. <laughs> yeah. These particular uh, recipes that we're making today of the granola are not in the cookbook. Because um, we just thought them up. Because we, yeah, well, you just thought them up. Um, so it's there, but the base of a, you know, a chocolate peanut butter one is in the cookbook. Well, and that's the thing. And it's you like can, when, can when you're dealing with the Thrive Life ingredients, like we love them mm -hmm. because you can honestly just go, I'll pull a little of this off the shelf. You scoop out what you want and you mm -hmm. stick it back on the shelf. Yeah. It doesn't even need to be refrigerated. No. And that way you can experiment and do all kinds of crazy things you never would have really thought. Right. And it's not going to cost you. No. Well, I mean, it costs you to obviously buy it. But... Right, right. All right. So three cups of the rice, the crispy rice. Yep. And Thank then you, Minerva. Six cups of uh, quick oats. And yeah, you can use old fashioned oats if you like. I just like these because they're smaller in size. Yeah. There it is. The oxygen absorber. Yeah, don't eat that. Don't want that. Pickle granola. Caviar granola, that would work pretty good. I don't know. I can't think of... Oh, that. The, the just livers shy. and pickle would probably be the best or the worst. We're just <laughs> shy of, of six cups, but that's okay. Okay, right. now we have our apples. Oh, they got a little sticky. They do that. There's a lot of sugar in uh, freeze-dried apples because it's been concentrated. So they get a little sticky once they're out in the air because it's absorbing that moisture. And then I'm going to use a tablespoon of, of cinnamon. Yep. Hey, there's the Aleutian Prepper. Oh, very cool. We were actually... Looking at the Aleutian looking Islands. Looking at the Aleutian Islands. We were talking about... Um, World War II and the Pacific, the expansion, the expansion and then mm -hmm. um, 
we saw the Aleutian Islands up there. So it was so how we yeah how a lot of the uh, mm -hmm. military needed to do some island hopping to yeah. get around. Yeah. All right, give us a good mix. Lima bean granola. Gross. So again, the base. You can this do. You can honestly do whatever you want for granola. Granola is is one of those things you can just add whatever you suits your fancy. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever floats your boat exactly. Yeah. Okay. Chicken gizzards and metamucil. Lori oh, has got one creative mind. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> really disgusting. Oh boy. You could make savory granola bars. Yeah, we actually talked about that too. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a great idea. Pu buffalo chicken and pecans. That would be really interesting. But with the with the Thrive stuff, we we were joking around and saying you could make breakfast-ish ones mm -hmm. because they have fully cooked sausage. Mm -hmm. You could put sausage and you could put cheese in there with actual pieces of freeze-dried cheese. I wouldn't put the sausage in there. It just the sounds sausage, wrong. It sounds wrong. I mean, you could make, a, you know, a sausage and cheese oatmeal granola bar. Yeah. It just sounds wrong. You could make whatever you want. Yeah. This smells really good. Is that the apple this one? This is the apple and cinnamon, yeah. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. And I, honestly, I think it's such a fantastic idea to be able to use the freeze-dried yeah. fruit. I want to make a cherry one, too, with, with like cherry, cherry and cherry nut. You know, cherry like cherry nut, and pecans, nuts? almonds. Almonds. Mm -hmm. almonds. <gasps> Do you know what we forgot? No, I don't. Vanilla. <laughs> We're so pro. This is so pro. Okay. I bet it's gonna be great without it. <laughs> Here's oh, the vanilla. Boy. <laughs> there it is. Savory okay. granola could become a thing. All right, I'm adding some vanilla, folks. Look at there. Whoopsie Daisy. That's okay, Mom. I'm it sure is. it's gonna be great. Now you gotta stir it ten I, times more. That's really okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you get with live, folks. Yeah. We don't edit. Nope. Honestly, that's what I like about live because it's just It is what it is. This is who we are. I mean, we're not perfect. Far from it. Far from it. I make mistakes. Yeah. I can hear the it's singing it's snap, to you. Look, snap, crackling, and Ooh, popping. You can't say that. That's probably trademarked. It probably is, actually. I don't know. No. It's making a All sound. All right. I'm tasting. Are you really? It's warm. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I have a spoon only because I got a weird thing about my hands. I don't like food on my hands. That's why I keep washing my hands. I got to make sure I get a little apple in there. Mm. All right. That is so good. That we need, to, really we need to bake that and make that. No, leave it. That mm. is ridiculous. Excuse me, I'm spitting. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Apple cinnamon, folks. Whoever thought that up must be a genius. You are, honey. I'm a chubby genius. <laughs> it's an evil genius. Man, that's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Very, very tasty. Wow. And you were right. I can't taste the stevia. I knew you wouldn't. I hate stevia. She hates it. I hate it. I don't like the aftertaste of it. That's mm. my that's my issue. Hmm. That is really good. Uh-huh. I am impressed. The kids are gonna devour They're these. They're not gonna get any. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're not gonna get any. And we didn't use a lot of the um the thrive fruit. I mean, I I told you it was two cups of bananas and I, I don't. Okay, folks, I hate to measure things. I really do. So um, I took like three big handfuls of apples out of the can. That is really good. And blended them up, chopped them up a, a bit. Oh, yeah, you should probably show them what we did. Okay. Um, one of these guys. I'll bring it over. To it's... chop up the bananas, uh, it's one of these... It's like an immersion blender, but it's not. It's, it's a food chopper that's attached to the. Um, goes on there. Yeah. And actually, you can see there's probably there's some powder. There's still, still in dust it. in it. Yeah. 
And that was bananas and that apples. was apples. Mm -hmm. And you just chop them up till you get the right consistency mm -hmm. that you're happy with. Yep. And then in you go. Yep. In you go. Yeah, my gracious. That is silly good. So, yeah. and now you just wait. You just let them cool and then you cut them like half hour, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then you cut them and then you can package them up however you like. Um, I bet you could yeah. um, put them in a vacuum seal. I mean, I yeah. would, they wouldn't last forever, but no. it would help last longer. Right. I mean, for us, you know, if you want them to last longer, you could stick them in the freezer or the, keep them in the refrigerator. If you wanted to. But they won't, with our kids, they won't last with him. But that, if we baked it mm -hmm. for a cereal, like a oh. breakfast cereal? Yeah, I, I think that's the next step here. So. Wow. Make some good snacks for hunting. Boy, oh boy, that is that is life around here right now. Oh Everybody. Oh my, yes. Daily prepper, do you have a freeze dryer? No, um, and we kind of touched on it briefly in the beginning is that Harvest Right did reach out to mm -hmm. us, but, and we're not knocking Harvest Right at all. Nope. They make a great product, but it just, it, did, it made more sense for us to continue on with the uh, Thrive Life Look at that. financially. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Really, really yeah. nice. All right. Yeah. Stick that in the fridge. I'll just put this one on top of the other one. And that's that. Mm-hmm. You guys can see all the junk in our refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is funny because we technically had the beginning that went for like, I think it was eight minutes of black. Oh, that's a bummer. Hopefully people will just, maybe I'll just scroll ahead. I don't yeah, know. I don't we'll know. leave it. We can make a note or something in the description box saying, hey, skip ahead to this. There was a problem. Yeah, sorry about that in the beginning. That was a total uh, yeah. mess up. Suki, I love your kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. I do too. Um, it's, it's. Well, the backdrop. Yeah. The backsplash. Yeah. It was a project we added after we moved in. and It just um, needed something. Yeah. It was just plain white. I mean, that's nice, but this just, it just. I don't know. It looks really, I like it. Uh, can you use apple cider vinegar to keep your blood sugar? Mm, um, I don't know. I don't know which. She's asking. Well, yeah. Oh, you guys are chatting between uh -huh. each other. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, well then I guess guys, we're going to, we're going to call it. Yeah. We're going to call it. So we'll be back on, on Friday again and hopefully we won't have any technical issues <laughs> next time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Suki's from Wales. Your kitchen looks very American to me. That's very interesting. You know, these tiles um, up above us, mm -hmm. uh, they're metal. They're tin. Yeah, they're from a they're from a motel that was taken down local was here. Yeah, the owners of this house also own the hotel. And they they were remodeling it, so they took them down and put them in here. And I love it. He wants to paint them, but I don't want him to you know touch what? them. It's grown on me. Oh, good, because I like it. <laughs> it's grown on me. It's grown on me. Yeah, the, the color of them was initially too dark, mm -hmm. but there are so many mm -hmm. lights, and yeah. this house is such a blessing, guys. Mm -hmm. And don't, I hope that we don't ever come off as, like, cocky, because that's not our attitude. No, our attitude is, like, wow, we're so blessed, and thank God. Mm -hmm. um, but there's so many big windows mm -hmm. and open things that yeah. the dark paint, doesn't bug me. No, no, it's it's really there's a lot of light, a lot of natural light, and it's it. it I really like it all. Well, does anybody have any? You know, does anybody have any cooking questions before we call it? Before we call it a day. Um, oh yeah, tell them it is in the cookbook. Yes, it is in the first cookbook. Well, a granola recipe, not these exact granola recipes, mm -hmm. is in the first cookbook. Our fam, our family favorites. Um, and it's, we kind of changed it because when we wrote that cookbook several years ago, we were not trying to, uh, cut back on sugar so much. So yeah. now we kind of are. Okay. Two so. things. Uh, Danielle's Duckhead Homestead. You have a beautiful home. Thank you. Thank you. Very blessed. And, Feel very um, blessed. The Daily Prepper. How do you store them? The granola bar? The granola bars? Yes. Um, I, well, I would wrap, I would, after cutting them, I would wrap them in wax paper um, just because then it won't stick to the 
if you use plastic. You mm -hmm. can really use whatever you like, but I think the wax paper might be a good option. Um, you can store them in the refrigerator. Uh, he here with our kids, they won't last probably a week. I uh, No, not when they taste like that. No, mm -mm. no yeah. it, it honestly tastes like that last one tasted like dessert. Well, um, and you know what? And that's the thing is that food is getting very expensive, people. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've noticed, but yeah, inflation's a thing. It really is. It's warm. Oh, yes. I'm gonna say, don't <laughs> it's not hot. There. It just startled me because it was still warm. This um, is how we rock. What's up, kids? The gr a package of granola bars. A package of Distracted. granola bars is three and four dollars for six granola bars. Okay? I think I spent maybe ten dollars and made 30 or 40 granola bars. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's insane. Yep. Um, uh, are you not American? Danny, no, we're American. We are. Yeah, we live in Wisconsin. No, and maybe he's talking to... To somebody else. Some, the one that was saying... Possibly. Uh, Suki, who was Suki. saying they're in Wales. Right, 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 right. Okay. Maybe. Um, Catherine... Oh, sorry. The, the thing is, this is how we rock. Barry Sparks is an incredibly gifted musician. Mm -hmm. And it was funny, because you just missed him. One of your big fans was on here. Except for me, of course. I'm a big fan. But um, uh, Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin, he was ah. specifically asking about you. Oh, funny! He I was. didn't see that. Yeah, <clears throat> so kind of kind of cool. But anyway, um, the other question was: Do you use probiotics in your yogurt? Yeah. Uh, well, the, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not a question about this recipe. Homemade yogurt. Do you use probiotics in it? And if so, what kind? Well, I'm, I'm, yogurt itself is a probiotic. Um, when I make yogurt, I use our milk from our cows. Um, I heat it to a certain temperature, then cool it down and add plain yogurt that I buy from the store. So I buy an organic plain yogurt, a whole milk yogurt. Um, and I just add like a cup of that to uh, my yogurt. So I'm adding probiotics to our yogurt and mm -hmm. then it creates more. Yeah. So yes, there is probiotics in it, but it it's itself. I'm well, not adding a I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm not adding a separate like probiotic thing because yogurt is a probiotic. Brittany, How many times can I say probiotic in a sentence? I don't know. Lots. <laughs> Brittany King is saying, is this recipe anywhere? Yes, it's in our first yes. cookbook and the link is down below. Right. And for those of you guys who are overseas, it is downloadable. So that's yes, great. Yes, it is great. it is a PDF download only. So that anyone around the world can, can get it. Can get it. Yes. Krista, where do you get your rennet? I'm only finding vegetarian on Homesteader Supply. Um, go to Cheese Making Supply. I've gotten it there. Um, our we have a local store here that um, sells it in the store. Mm -hmm. The the mm -hmm. uh, Mennonite store down south that they, they sell it. Um, you know, cultures he, for health. That's another that's one. Cultures for cultures health. Cultures for health. I, I was stammering because I couldn't think of the name. Um, check those two places. Cheese making. I think it's New England cheese making. I don't know the exact website. Um, it might be cheesemaking.com, but I don't know. I think it is cheesemaking.com. And then uh, the um, cultures, cultures for, for health. health. They have um, lots of cheese making items there as well. Rennet citric acid, those kind of things, so. As Brad looks pensively at one comment that just rises above all the rest. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all the probiotics making nice. your beard look pretty stellar there, Mr. Brad. Well, actually, it happens to be my beard balm that I make, and it's on the site. I'm only saying that because he's got a powerful beard. I know, I know. And, uh, He's got the beard of power. No, he, yeah, no, the funny thing about it is that he actually entered his beard in a competition. <laughs> is that's that not awesome. the funniest thing ever? That's really awesome. I think it's great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, yeah. it's one of those things that's so, bo you know, boggles the mind that like, there is a subculture of beard competitors yeah. out there. Yeah. And it's, don't get me wrong. His beard is powerful. I think it should honestly have its own like theme song. <laughs> or zip code. No, no, theme song. <laughs> theme song. Um, so Shervin's asking, how do you find Mennonite stores, any in New England? Um, I don't know about New England. I know we have a large 
uh, Amish and Mennonite community here in Wisconsin. And we've been told about the store many times. We visited this store once uh, many years ago when we first moved here and then just kind of forgot about it until some friends of ours bought this log of cheese, a five pound block of cheese. And we're and, like, oh, and it was, and it was delicious. Cheese. It was delicious cheese. So I but thought, it okay, cheap. it was inexpensive. Yes. We went and we're hooked. So this, <laughs> this block of Munster cheese was $12. I couldn't get over it. Was it was a good deal. And it's so good. So I cut it into smaller blocks and plast, you know, wrapped it up and stuck it in the fridge. And but um, yeah, there's there's lots of Amish and Mennonite in Pennsylvania and Ohio mm -hmm. here and in Minnesota. I I would imagine there's some in Michigan, but I really don't know about the New England area. That would be yeah. that would have to be a Google search or ask. I, uh, Celtic Maybe. Roots is has been Googling in New, New England area. There aren't, there aren't many, many Mennonite okay. or Amish stores around. Okay. Uh, road trip coming on over to Wisconsin. No kidding. Better load up on your cheese. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> load up on that cheese. Need a freezer full of it. Yeah. So, so okay. Well, then, yeah. um, oh, Vern says the new song. He downloaded the new That's song. Awesome. That's great, man. I it's They're just scripture, and, mm -hmm. and uh, so I didn't write them. I guess I wrote the music part. Yeah, no, you're. I mean, you didn't write the words, but you put them in. Right now, David did. King David yeah. did. <laughs> they're, they're. I like them a lot. Well, I thank do. you. So, anyway, guys, you have an. Uh, I think that's it. So, have an awesome and blessed day, and we'll see you back tomorrow. Um, we're working, and there should be a compilation video for Sunday of everything that's been going on. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about barn clothes. We're going to talk about, because people don't know what barn clothes are. People know barn clothes are. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It really is. All right, guys. Have an awesome day. All yeah. right. Bye. Bye.
Place your faith in things above Trust that God's called you in love Pray for beauty, pray for humility Sanctified and without blame 